Hi there, St. Edward's friends. Um, this month, for the month of May, we are going to switch from studying birds to studying mammals. And I just wanted to read a book that introduces a mammal. So here we have a book called About Mammals. This is going to tell us what mammals look like, what they eat, where they live. It's going to tell us all about them. You ready? This book is called About Mammals, and it's written by Catherine Sill, and John Sill did the pictures. Mammals have hair. They may have thick fur. This is a musk ox. Sharp quills. Here's our porcupine friend. Or only a few stiff whiskers. See, the only hair on this walrus here is on his nose. Baby mammals drink milk from their mothers. Some mammals are born helpless. What does it mean to be helpless? You can see that these baby mice here Their eyes aren't developed yet. They have no hair. They look very pink and bald. So I think to be helpless means that you depend on something else entirely. So the white-footed deer mouse in this picture's babies depend entirely on the mother until they have a chance to grow and become stronger. Others can move about on their own soon after they are born. Baby deer are born able to stand up and walk within just a few minutes. Mammals may run. These are pronghorn sheep. Mammals may climb. That's the American red squirrel. Mammals may swim. Here is the blue whale. And mammals may fly. Bats are mammals. They are not birds. Mammals eat meat. This is a bobcat. Mammals might eat plants. That's an American pika. I don't think I've ever actually seen a pika before. Mm. Some mammals eat both meat and plants. This is a black bear. They live in cold and icy places like this Arctic fox. And they live in hot, dry places, like this black-tailed jackrabbit. They live in wet marshes, 
like this common muskrat. A wet marsh is in a wetland biome. So when we talk about biomes, right, that's a wetland. The muskrat lives in the wetland. It is important to protect mammals and the places where they live. And that's the end of a book about mammals. So maybe you will think about some mammals that you see outside of your doors every day or inside your doors. A lot of times we keep mammals for pets. And maybe you will try to think about what type of environment those mammals need to live, what type of food they need to eat, and why we should be taking care of the environments in which mammals live. So that's a little bit about mammals. I hope you will spend some time this month exploring mammals. Bye for now, St. Edward's friends.